Here we go, drum roll please. Good God. We're just off to Renmark to help a mate out over here. He's got a couple of beehives that he hasn't looked at for, I don't know, I think it's somewhere close to 10 years, because his mum used to be the beekeeper, and of course his mum passed away, and he's highly allergic, so he can't go near them, but he needs them for his fruit block. And so he's rung me up to say, can we come and bloom and re-fix them up a little bit? Because he's got a, he hasn't inspected them, obviously, so I'm praying that we don't find too many bad diseases in these boxes. But I brought some new boxes, so we're going to do a bit of rehousing and a bit of inspecting. And I thought you'd better come along for the ride, because, I don't know, this 10-year-old bee box could be rather interesting. Well, we've just had a little update with the owner and I think we're over 20 years ago these bee boxes got looked at because like I said his mum was the beekeeper and she was very ill for the last 10 years of her life so I knew she'd been gone for 10 years but I didn't realise that the 10 years previous to that they hadn't really been played with either so so we're into a 20 year old bee box so this should be rather entertaining shouldn't it? It's part of me's thinking I'm going to go home but anyway we'll go and have a look around the corner here and see what we've got to deal with. Two, two, tea for two, two for tea. Da, 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 da. Oh, God. Oh, have a look at this. <laughs> Damn. Once upon a bee box weary, there <laughs> was one stuck in a cage. What the heck? Look at that. I think the entrance is having a bit of a struggle because I've decided to go in the side. Well, at least they're not attacking us while we stand here. That's a good start. I'm not sure what's going on at the blue and brood box if they're going in the side of the rotten box. Because that could be interesting. If we're really lucky, the brood box will be all up the top and they won't have to stress out too much. But 20 years. Oh, this should be fun. Mind you, at least we'll know whether frames have changed in 20 years, won't we? We'll be able to see what happened, how many advances we've made in beekeeping in 20 years. And I just noticed there's a, another little swarm in a sweat box just around the back here too, which is rather interesting. But we might just, we might just ignore them. I'm not going to do that today. Oh, mate. I don't think we're going to. We'll just pretend we didn't see that, all right? <laughs> that might be another project. I think these girls are a little bit toe <laughs> They're starting to tap me on the head. Do you want to see what a bee box looks like after 20 years? <laughs> what do you reckon? Just slap a coat of paint on that one? All good. <laughs> anyway, I've told Phil I'm going to help him out, so let's see what we find. I thought I'd bring a bucket along just in case we have some shrapnel. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it'll be interesting <laughs> if nothing else. Oh man, I'm thinking we might need a fair bit of smoke for this project. 20 years. <laughs> okay. <sighs> At least there's only two. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what are we doing, John? Ooh. Oh, here we go, this should be entertaining. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking it might be just a little bit awkward to work on them in there. And plus, the, I only want some out of here on this pallet, so I'm thinking I might, if they can be pulled into two halves, I don't know, I don't know whether, maybe we'll pull out one frame and see what sort of trouble we've got before we decide to move them, but ultimately they're all gonna come out here anyway, so I don't know whether to take the box it looks like they're all up the top, but I reckon what we're going to do, take the lid off and we'll see whether we can get a frame out for a start. And if that doesn't happen, we might lift the whole box and bring it out here and so we can make a mess. But who knows? It could be good, could be shit, as the saying goes. I haven't said that for a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Look, I don't try out the manoeuvring. I don't know that there's too much going on down the bottom. Oh, no, here comes a lady. She said, hello, we're on fire. <laughs> Run for the hills. I wonder what we're going to find. It's like Aladdin's cave, isn't it? Or whatever it was. Is that Aladdin's cave? What was the other cave? The cave of wonders. No, that's a, that's a shop at Wakery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That lid's is pretty solid. Could you hand me my hive tool since I didn't bring it into this cage? <laughs> Would that be all right? No, maybe not. Thank you. <laughs> we'll pop our lid off and see what sort of excitement we create. There's a fair bit of traffic anyway. 
What's that? Drum roll, please. <laughs> That's not crazily stuck down, so I don't know. Well, there's plenty of bees in here anyway. Hello, chicks. What are you doing? That's what you call community living. We've got an ant's nest <laughs> living across the top of you. Well, that's not bad. I bet you my bloody bee box when it's 20 years old won't look that good. <laughs> it's pretty relaxed, actually. But early days yet. <laughs> I wonder where you'd start. It doesn't look real busy over this side, so we might start there. Look, most of them from about here across, which would make sense since that's where they're entering. Oh my gosh. Is that going to come out of there? Like... We might have a little bit of propolis. I don't think that's going to be very helpful, that bar. No, oh dear. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Hell, I don't know. I reckon I'm going to see if we can pull it in half and take the half over there, because we're going to make a hell of a mess. We've got a fair bit of cross comb across the honey. So... I do know, I just hope they haven't built that way. Otherwise that's going to be a real pain. Because it's got to happen anyway, so I'm thinking it might be a good idea at this particular moment. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay. That should be entertaining. <sighs> I hope that's not what I think it is under here. No, no, there is some frames, there's just two or three missing. Okay, right. I think I'm going to sit this over there and we're going to, if I can get the blummin' thing out of my cage without breaking my neck. <laughs> Go on. Oh, working conditions are a bit arduous. Right, gals. What are we going to do? Hell, spells. One of that special gate hitch. I think that might be the special gate hitch. It's going to be our gate hitch anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do this excitement in the middle of summer? I'm starting to get warm or I'm just freaking out. <laughs> Sorry, gals. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is there anything stuck underneath there? <sighs> Where do we start, John? <laughs> Maybe we'll start in the bottom. Golly gosh, they're like, what the hell? It's been an upheaval. Uh -oh, that's got a serious hum to it. <laughs> oh. Oh, golly. Now, there's an old school blooming hive mat, isn't it? <laughs> oh, friggin' hell. There, once upon a time, there were some frames in here. I don't know. <laughs> God. I think we'll take this out of there as well. No, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what was that that fell off the bottom? Oh. Yeah. That just might need a little bit of tidying up. <laughs> just wondering how come they've trimmed the edges of it off. Just going to go and get the black pot and all. Put some of this. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but unframed might be a good place to start. Oh no, I did, I've already brought my black pot, I anticipated this. <laughs> oh gosh, girls. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Hopefully everybody's healthy, otherwise it'll suck one after all this excitement. You know the bit that fascinates me when you move a bee box is just how much traffic is actually in the air. I mean, look at all these girls that are just slightly disorientated at the moment. It's and incredible. It doesn't even look that busy. So we'll just get some of this off the edge here, I think, for a start. Pull out some of the bits and pieces that aren't really doing too much. Luckily, the girls have got that full of stuff, so that's good. We almost rolled it up and make an instant candle, couldn't we? <laughs> I don't think there's been a lot going on down in this bottom box for a little bit. I think we found a bit of honey here. Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry, girls. I know, I know, I know. You've been left to your own devices for all these years. But the rules are you have to be looked at. So I'm here to do you a favour. It was either this or a can of petrol. So we don't want the petrol thing. So I thought that would be an awful shame. Oh, blue hell. That was still sort of in one piece, I think. She's a little bit stuck together. <laughs> Oh. 
Maybe we'll take both of these together because they seem to be hooked together. We might just take two. <laughs> That's coming apart there reasonably effectively. Hoping the, all the brood's up there, I hope, because it looks like all honey down here. So, but we'll find out in a minute. It's a pity this is actually the, <laughs> gonna pull apart easier than the bit we're probably trying to keep. I'm only gonna have to go and find a bucket to wash my hands in a minute. This is ridiculous. This is probably why you're meant to look at your bee box a little bit more often. Oh, so you don't have to have quite such an excitement. The actual box itself looks like it's in reasonable condition. Except for the wax moths. <laughs> they look like they're being a bit hectic. I don't think that one's actually a frame. <laughs> okay, well that's actually gonna move at least. What have you chicks been up to in here for the last hundred years? Oh, golly. That's a perfect sheet there, <laughs> without any frame on it. Oh dear, you girls are doing a good job. Oh shit, is that gonna come out of there? Oh, what are we gonna do? I hope there's nobody in there laying anything. I think they're all just honey. We'll just put this in here as well, I think. I don't know. I don't really want to take all this honey from them. I was just trying to work out how to feed it back to them. God. <laughs> that should be entertainment in itself, shouldn't it? Do I go through there or do I take that up there? Or what am I going to do? I reckon I've got to take that off. It will make a mess. I think I'm going to just cut this bit off here because it's gone off a bit on its own tangent. And I'm thinking I might need to go and find some water to wash my hands or wash my gloves. What is that? Goodness me, girls. You have been busy. <laughs> Are they actually pretty relaxed? Mind you, this is just the pantry. That's the real house in there. <laughs> All in all, it doesn't look too bad just yet. Oh. Oh, yeah, so that's one more frame, and then we'll have all the honey in a pot. And then the real fun begins. That's not bad for a 20-year-old frame, is it? I wonder if the modern crappy <laughs> frames that we use today will look like this. If they were left alone for that long, I don't reckon. I'm not 100% sure of what all this black shit is at the bottom. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that was. <laughs> Almost looks like what happens when the wax moth eat them out, but maybe this is a rerun. And they've uh, died out and they've come back again, because that's a real possibility. But anyway, that was the easy bit. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to go and see if I can find some water to wash this muck off. I'm just noticing the filled up half their entrance, or more than half their entrance, just one little tiny bit that they've left as their escape route. Filled it full of propolis, that's pretty cool. Ugh. <laughs> right, well that's, I think, the easy bit. Yeah, I, don't know. I guess you're just gonna get in there somehow. I'm thinking we're gonna start at this corner and work our way that way, and hopefully we'll get some brood frames that aren't in too much diabolical trouble. <laughs> anyway, we'll find out together. That was a top bar. Oh, at least that's gonna, that might move. <laughs> Any bright suggestions? Oh my gosh. That one's nearly thinking about staying together. Oh, well then, being that we've pulled the tops off the bars, <laughs> we might tip it on its side and see if we can't pull them out through the bottom. That's young John's idea, so whether, whether it works or not, we'll find out. If it doesn't work, I could throw him under the bus. If it does work, I can say, look how clever I am. As long as you girls get out of the way so we don't crush you all. You're too busy buzzing. Just a little bit of honey problem under here. <laughs> yeah, how, how do we look that side? <laughs> we tip it over. Put <sighs> up. Okay, you was a smarty pants, aren't you? It's all them episodes of Star Trek. <laughs> Thinking outside the box. Literally outside the box we are here with this project. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's that stuck on? Oh, shit. Mm, here we go. We've run out of places to put it. Anyway, like I said, oh, that's good. At least there's not actually anybody there. So it all looks like it's just honey. Oh. <laughs> Where are you, boss woman? 
Right, so I reckon we'll try we'll try from the top again. Oh, I hope we haven't done her damage. <laughs> she could be anywhere in all this lot, couldn't she? Oh heck. Hopefully she's in here somewhere. My Majesty. Well considering <laughs> they're not really trying to kill us. So that's something good. I was kind of expecting them to be really up blooming upset, but they're not too crazy at all. I mean they're not over friendly about the idea but my hands haven't actually gone white from stings that's a good start <laughs> okay that was here we go here's the brood box here comes the breeding part any good ideas no <laughs> <laughs> no good ideas anywhere i'm just thinking maybe if i put the boxes up ultimately you want them to make their brood box in underneath and then start putting these frames in the box on top of that so then I won't have to disturb them at yet another time round. I don't really know, but I think that'll work. But I don't want to steal all their honey either. That's a thing. So I might, I might put that. I might put this back on the top with that honey in it. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge in a minute. <laughs> One excitement at a time. Right. Is that the right way then? Yep. Now, where did that fancy queen excluder that we found end up? That looks pretty snazzy. <laughs> That's what they call making do. <laughs> making do as you go. Yeah, I don't reckon. Oh! <laughs> God! Get up, old body. I think if we put this up now. <laughs> That's still not going to work because we should shake the girls off downstairs. <sighs> I'm thinking what we really need to do is actually have this out the way so we can shake the bees into this box so then when we hopefully we'll have the queen up the top no down the bottom <laughs> and the stuff up the top and she can start again <laughs> not that this is ideal this is a reasonably far away from ideal but it'll have to be what it is it's going to suck if they got disease and i've shaken the bees in this box got ourselves set up but we're not going to shake the girls in here just yet because I want to have a make sure that these ladies haven't got any diseases that I don't want in my box. Because otherwise that's going to defeat the whole purpose and I'll have to... They'll have to go anyway, but... So, so far the little bit of brood I can see on the outside edge looks pretty good. One would assume if they've been here for that long, they would be riddled. So hopefully they're all good. Hopefully we see the boss. If we see the boss, we'll shake her in there anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, girls. If you hadn't have built that like that, you would have been all good. You just have to make it awkward for a bloke. It could just stay all nice and uniformed. <laughs> Apart from the fact that it's pretty old brood comb, that one doesn't look too bad. God. <laughs> I don't know. This is an interesting project. Problem is the brood's all here in a random setup. Hello! Oh, if I didn't have to look at all the brood, I would just bloody pop them up there and just leave them alone. But we have to do an inspection whilst we're pulling them apart. But anyway, that's the joys of it all. Mm. Golly gosh. Oop, oop, oop. We're bringing the neighbour's frame with us. Don't do that. Well, the new larvae looks nice and clean. At least I found some of that. It looks nice and white. Except for the fact that it's a bloody mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I think we've got them all excited. Oh, there's no easy way to do this though, is there? I'm just trying to be a bit gentle so we do as least excitement as we can. This is like a cutout but in a bee box. <laughs> well, maybe not quite as dramatic as the last one we did. Oh, is that going to stay back there or is it going to come with us? What's it going to do? I have to go with this one because that's like a double frame. Oh, here we go. That one's going to work. Do you reckon the queen's out here by now? <laughs> Somewhere? They're raised, they're, all the bees are sitting out in the box out here. I guess I would be if there was a blooming earthquake like, like this. wonder what they think we are <laughs> rolling up here like this. They wouldn't have a clue, would they? Just imagine that. I don't think I've said that before, but imagine if someone come and rip my roof off, I wouldn't be happy. But they're actually pretty chilled out, really. I don't think I've even got one sting yet. So I hope they actually survive. Right, cheeky babes. What are we gonna do? I think they actually look healthy enough to take the chance because I can't see any real bad shit. So I'm gonna start shaking the girls in this box. Then we're gonna put 
whatever brood I could find that's half reasonable in the box above that, above the queen excluder. And then I'm thinking I'm actually going to put another box, this probably this old super, with the actual honey frames on top of that again, so they've got something to eat. But I don't know, we'll see how much it's dripping. The ones that aren't dripping anyway. Being that it's autumn, I don't really want to leave them with nothing to eat, because that would suck. Then again, you don't want them to drown in their own stores either, so otherwise that's another problem. <laughs> oh, these decisions you have to make, I don't know. Oh my lordy lordy lordy, look at that lot. <laughs> I'm tipping she's out here, but I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. We'll probably get this last frame, which looks like it's mainly honey anyway. I think we've got to take that out just to be doubly sure, because you've got to check every frame. You just can't assume, so you've got to check every frame, even though this looks like it's a honey frame. But I think it's got to have a bit of a peekaboo at it, if we can get it apart, of course. But like I say, I don't think I've... Have you got a sting? I don't even think I've got one sting. Anybody home? Where are you, Your Majesty? Are you here, hiding on this frame? Is that you I saw? Because she's only probably going to be little by the look of this lot. Majorly upset, I think you could say. <laughs> Majorly upset. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm going to have to go and get some rubber bands to rubber band the stuff back to the frames that meant to be on. Right, now. Uh, how the hell are we going to know where she is? We have got a mess. Is that what they say? Houston, we have a problem. The moon's in sight, but I think we're in trouble. We'll see whether the buzz changes when we drop her in there. I hope she's not under the pallet. Are we ready for the big shake? Oh, and myself a little heart attack. I thought she was stuck to the wall, but I don't think it is. I'm thinking she's in here, so not quite making the right noise just yet, but so maybe she is under there just to ship me off, which is typical. <laughs> Why does it always have to be complicated, John? Couldn't it just be easy? Just for once, just be nice and straightforward. No, never, never, ever, ever. <laughs> Stop panicking and just put the frame in, it's all good. <laughs> panicking is not going to achieve anything, is it? Just relax. Have a look. Look at that, who's hiding under there? Right, we'll shake them in there as well, but there's a whole heap underneath here. Did they fall? <laughs> I'm just going to tip this shrapnel off the top of it. And I'm going to put it back down there and they can maybe... I'm looking at them all accumulating underneath there. I'm trying to work out where the boss is. But we don't want all this crap in there anyway. What are we doing, cheeky babes? I'll just watch them for a minute and see what they do. Very hard to tell exactly what she's, where she's decided to be. They're starting to get a little bit more excited in here. The noise isn't as freaked out, but it's possible she's in there, but then there's quite a big cluster under here, so. Remind me, when we do the next one in a minute, we actually put something solid on the pallet so <laughs> they don't all run underneath, because that's not helpful. Just wondering if I can find a, there's an old bee lid. I might just slip the bee lid underneath there and then put those bees on that lid and then tip them in there as well. I think this is a fair way away from a flow hive. What do you reckon, ladies? What the hell? What do you think happened? Well, at least off the ground now, I think. Trying to get them all up the top. I'm not sure that they know what the hell happened. <laughs> it's interesting when you start playing around with bees and the fact they can fly, but they're quite clustering when they like, they'll rather walk to a spot anyway if they're on the ground or on this pallet for that matter. That's fascinating, really. They're not bad, they can run pretty quick and all. <laughs> if you had wings, would you bother walking? I suppose it depends where you're going. <laughs> Got those crazy escalators, isn't it, in the airport? Not sure whether they're quicker or not. I mean, it's probably pretty hard to fly up under a pallet, isn't it? <laughs> okay, girls, what are we doing? Where's the boss? That's what I'm wondering. The rest of you work it out afterwards. Uh, she's not going to be a real big queen either, probably. It's, it's not the most relaxed hum in that box, though. There's <laughs> some seriously upset ladies, I think. 
I don't want to crush anybody. It's like the bloody city of Atlantis. I think all of a sudden we've moved. <laughs> Everybody died in Atlantis though. Oh, oh, that's true. That's not a good option. <laughs> we don't want that to be the case. Are they running towards that box or am I just fantasizing? I reckon she's in there because of the way they're acting. But we'll, I reckon we'll put it together and then we'll see what they do. I'm just thinking it's a pity there's not an opening this end as well. Since, uh, although I suppose we could move her because there's no one at the front. What we might do is we'll put that box on top of there and then we're going to put those brood frames on top of the queen excluder but we might actually put the box over there where the ladies are a bit more so they'll run in a bit easier because there's complete anarchy and they're all hiding underneath this middle rail. Might as well recycle this since we've got it here. There, which we brought them in case we had to put some rubber bands on some stuff. I reckon, sit that there, and I reckon we're going to put it over towards where everybody is at the front. So there's one little cluster down here, but I don't think that's anything to worry about. I don't know whether they're calming down or going stupid in there. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Actually, fuck that. That's too hard. <laughs> Like that, I reckon. Right, now, the ones of that that we want to keep put up there. Mm. That'd be typical. The one that's got the brood frame has <laughs> got all the blooming broken bits. If we sit that to the corner, golly gosh, ladies. <laughs> You're doing a good job, though, girls. That frame does not look healthy, does it? That's got all the nice young stuff on it too. I'm just gonna go get some rubber bands, I'll be back. Hold that thought. <laughs> okay. Oh, that'll be right. Shit. The bloody wire's running through the middle of it. Damn that. Damn it. That is not helpful. That's worse than when there's no, th no supports. <laughs> What are we going to do with that mess? Well, I didn't plan for this, did I? I wonder... I wonder if we just do that. <laughs> just make it work itself out. If there's a bit of a gap there that they can work on it. Seriously not ideal, but I don't know how else to get... It's got all that nice brood there. And I didn't bring anything to cut the wires with, so I don't want to wreck all of that. Otherwise, it'll be another problem. We'll come back here and we'll take all this away anyway. Hopefully, if they decide to settle in downstairs, if we're lucky. That's only if they turn into a sensible bee box. <laughs> oh man, which ones of these frames are we gonna do? Have you got any good suggestions? <laughs> I don't really know. I think that'll work though. I think this has got the better of these frames. We'll put in this bit if they're not dripping, if they're not too mucky. Because these are the ones that were actually in the bottom which can suddenly become the top. Then I'll have something to eat at least. Yay, 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 you ladies. What are you doing? I don't think any of them are worth putting back in there. <laughs> we put that there to sort of hold all that mess together. And the next question is, do we just leave that out there for them to, to, to fix up? I think so. Well, chicks, I don't know. What do you reckon? I honestly don't know what to think. Part of me thinks we'll just leave the honey here and they can fix it up. Someone will, they'll get most of it. If we just sit those frames in the old super, sort of by the box, hopefully we don't create a, you know, like a whole lot of angry bees raid them out, but they should be all right. And then they can clean up the mess. We won't have honey all over the bottom of our new box. And hopefully everybody gets back together. I think that's a good way forward from my way of thinking, but kind of suck if we come back here and they've all decided to move into the super box with honey in it. You reckon the girls have got any good ideas? Could you hear them? Let's see. Yeah, you just leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> I think I'll clean that bottom crappy bottom box out. We'll just sit it here with the frames in it. The girls can clean all the honey up and they won't have it all on their head. And they go, matter if the neighbours take some, well, that is what it is. Mm. 
I reckon we've got one other one to do, so we might go and have a look at that, and then we'll come back and have a look at how these girls are settling in in another hour or so. That'll give us a fair idea.